Alright, this uh, video is going to be kind of a little different. It's more of a uh, show you one of the uh, gems in the uh, Florida Keys, especially for uh, kayak paddlers. Um, it's a little island over here called Tarpon Valley Keys. Um, it's the way you would get there is based out of Cujo Key and you just take the main uh, blimp road and until it dead ends in the water and there's a nice public uh, concrete boat ramp and if you paddle out straight out to it it's roughly two and three quarter miles yeah a little less than two and three quarter miles so you're looking most likely to take you about an hour hour 15 depending if you stop fish on the way and whatnot uh, it's a main channel that runs through here so everything swims through there um, what makes this one unique is that it's a, a very different type of island than the rest of the Keys. Um, it's an old, used to be inhabited island. It was a production center, I think, for uh, sponges or something like that. And then it was also kind of a uh, smuggler's uh, drop-off point. Um, there's some deep channels that were cut into it. Um, some old uh, concrete walkways and plankways that are for loading and loading stuff were built into that. It's all dilapidated now, but you can tell because um, the island is, is fully walkable. It's not like a normal mangrove island where you can't even walk a foot with inside the mangroves. Uh, it looks like it was cleared at one point. There's pine trees throughout it, um, there's walkways, plenty of open spots if you want to uh, kind of rough camp it. Um, not exactly legal, I don't think, but it just, it is what it is. Um, plenty of people do it there. Uh, for paddlers, it's such a, a great spot because of that distance wise, only two and three quarter miles get you out to a real nice spot like that. Um, decent fishing around in that area. Um, and uh, the rest of the video will show you what it looks like. Thanks. Okay, coming up to Blimp Road uh, boat launch. Real nice uh, location way out in the boonies out here. Not much out here except the uh, transfer station. But as you see, it's the end of the road. And this will be our launch for our quick destination in the rain. Free hurricane. So let's check it out. Okay. We're getting ready to head out. Today's plan is to head over to Tarpon Valley Keys. It's that last island on the left, almost at 12 o'clock, right out there. And it's got a little bit of a sandy beach and some nice little canal channels built into it and some old structures to look at. So it's kind of an interesting paddle. And it's also a good place if you wanna come and be a pirate and camp out secretly in a nice spot because most of the mangrove islands around here have no sandy area, beach area, so it's a good place to check out. So let's head on over there. As you can see, you can tell why it's called Blimp Road. That's the big weather balloon there. Um, they got a big fishing line, a fishing uh, reel with a heavy cable and just send it up there and it just sits up there gathering information. But to get to Tarpon Valley Keys, that last one there, you could follow just the shoreline on this side about half the way and then you just got to kind of cut across or you can kind of go straight across and then just do a little bit of island hopping until you get over there. Uh, usually it just depended on the wind, which way the wind is coming to kind of save you some, uh, some wind avoidance. Um, it's a mildly deep channel here, not much. It really gets deep on the other side of uh, Tarpon Valley Keys. Um, I like this area for flats fishing in that center, those these center keys, because what it is, there's this channel that runs out to the Atlantic, and then on the other side of these keys, there's another channel that runs uh, parallel with it, and this is kind of the split in the center of it that comes to like a V, and it's all very fairly shallow um, flats areas with the, the mangroves. So just a nice little current path that uh, will hold fish. A lot of the flats guys uh, sit up around this edge here on the end at that tip and kind of hang out there. But um, that is kind of the general layout. So we're going to head out over there now. All right, so we just got following the uh, edge and just come to the last uh, part of the uh, mangroves. And it's almost 
almost to the edge of uh, where the Tarpon Valley Keys are right there. And well, I guess you can't see the blimp's not there, but just following the um, shoreline, and then it's not such a long way to cross across the uh, the channel. It's not bad through the channel anyways, but it just depends if you want to scoot along the edge and uh, fish a little bit. Doesn't hurt to look. Okay, here it is, Tarpon Valley Keys. It's one of the few keys that have a kind of a sandy beach. It also has pine trees on it because it was semi-developed at one point. So we'll cruise around, check it out. And you can see where the balloon was. little porta potty cool little dive platform very deep channel this used to run through, connect these two islands because it's separated. But the walkway's gone. But not a problem. It's cool to have pine trees here. A great place to bring a hammock. Someone's camping for the weekend. Good spot to camp. And the windward side. And there's another channel around the corner here. And there's that trellis way. Probably fish on this channel here, see what we can catch. So here's the second entrance to this lagoon. Another nice little tent spot there. Oh, I think I'm coming at it the wrong way. Ooh. Yeah, 
I've got glass minnows. There's little snappers all inside here. I think the bigger ones are going to be hiding underneath there. So we'll stop here and catch a few. Yeah, definitely around that sand spot. So they'll be underneath that corner there. Let's give this a try. Eight, ten, sixty-seven. Ooh, kayak is leaving me. That would be a bad thing. go. Yeah, we've got pilchards. Nice. Just starting up to build it up a little bit. Getting some snappers in there. I think I might have already stole my bait. I gotta downsize my uh oh no. Oh 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 guess he had it. Oh no, swallowed my circle hook. Well, not bad for the first fish. Did he swallow it really deep? Open up. Oh, yeah, he did. I'm going to cut this one free. So I want to go to a smaller hook anyways. Since there seems to be quite a few uh, glass minnows, I'm just going to start chunking these out and get them a little bit more active. There's not that much chum in this bag here. Enough to get them started. All right, all right. Let's do some fishing here. Get some of these guys woken up. Get them feeding. Basically, I know they're hiding around this corner here, so should drop those down. Put a little bit more drag. Keep it out of the trees. Watch that line. There it goes. Hungry fishies. Something just jetted out from under there and grabs either a, one of my baits or one of the fish down there and just went right back underneath there. I mean, it was so fast I couldn't tell what it was. So, try that again. I mean, it was lightning fast. Oh, a barracuda. <laughs> Lightning fast is right. Ah, I thought it would have been my uh, tarpon or a snook. But no. Survival situation, he would be dinner. Oh, 
perfect, perfect hook placement. I told you that thing was lightning fast, whip through there. There we go. That would be a meal right there. These are the good eating size too. The baby ones don't generally have the cicatetta that you have to worry about. And you learned a life lesson there. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Get a little farther out. Watch the line. Get ready to close the bail when it starts running. Mangrove snapper. Look, we got there. Pretty Mr. Pinfish. What are we gonna do with you? We're gonna knocker rig you, is what we're gonna do. Okay, so. Gonna revert to my old standby, the knocker rig. So, pretty basic. I guess like a four or five uh, the circle, one ounce maybe. Yeah, it looks like a one ounce egg sinker. Just to pin it on the bottom. Unlucky Mr. Pinfish here. It's going to be the bait of choice. So, what I'm going to target is something a little bit bigger than these little uh, mangoes that I'm catching. So, let's do that right about there. Make a couple of strips out of them. And what this does is it, this will weed out the uh, smaller snappers. Get the, the good stuff out of there. Kind of bury that hook. There we go. And I think I could sight cast to these fish. The big ones will be tucked underneath there and very wary, but they'll get them a little bit excited with uh, all these. Uh, other fish feeding without them. So I'm going to just place it farther back out of the way. It's still in the white sand so I can see it. Give it just a little bit of slack for them to have a little bit of running room. Tighten down my drag a bit. And hope we don't see any nurse sharks. Come out, come out, come out. Oh. Yay. Look at that. That's a good 18 incher. Nice. Damn it. And we're back to the point. And then just straight out here, not very far, is the main channel that goes all the way out. And that gets down to 25 to 30 foot. So it's a good deep cut along here. It's kind of a sailboat passageway. And then that's the uh, um, edge of the gulf there. Those islands are kind of the stuff that I usually hit. I think I've got one video fishing on the edge over here. And then I've got the one with the Barracuda Keys are way up that direction. So that's the Tarpon Valley Keys. 
it's kind of a little unique island. Uh, it used to be inhabited, that's why you've got those pine trees and uh, somewhat sandy beaches there versus all these other islands which are just 100% mangroves and non-usable for anything. Um, it's not legal to camp there, but people do it, so I can't tell you not to, but it's a very easy paddle. You can see there's the uh, blimp, then just a little bit to the left of that is the launch, so I'll put the somewhere down uh, the specific mileage to it, but if you look under uh, Tarpon Valley Keys and the uh, Blimp Road uh, boat launch, and you can kind of get the, the measurements distance-wise. If you come during the midweek, there's never anybody here. Um, weekends, it's a, it's a halfway decent spot. A lot of people anchor up here because it's got, it's not only sandy beach, but that cove is all sandy. So it's a nice snorkel, jump in the water, hang out spot. And those little bays there, the little cuts make a nice uh, deep uh, snorkeling holes. So I think I'm going to go hit that point, maybe go around to the, uh, the, the leeward side and then see if I can spot any uh, tailing fish get out of this wind a little bit. But anyway, that's Tarpon Valley Keys. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, remember to bring plenty of uh, mosquito and uh, no sea on protection. Even though it's a kind of a windblown island, there's usually a breeze out here. There's still uh, heavy duty mosquitoes and uh, no sea -ums. But I also have a tip on my next video that'll help you with those. All right, see ya.